Hey y'all, welcome into the video. It is almost launch day, everybody. By the time you see this video, it probably will be launch day. <laughs> but even the night before, we are still confused as to what planner should we choose going forward from July 2020 onward, y'all. This question, I think, is going to plague us for the next few weeks. If that is the situation or the case that, you, you know, you're finding yourself in, leave me a comment in the, in the comment box down below and let me know. On the 27th and 28th of April, it's Insider Launch Day for the Erin Condren Life Planners. The 29th opens up for general ordering. And y'all, I'm in the boat of one that is confused as to what additional planner that I should be getting because there's two of them that I really want. Um, and so, yeah, hopefully I could make my solid choice very soon um, and get the one that I need. In this video, everyone, I'm hoping to help some folks. I'm hoping to help those that are struggling between deciding, should I keep my daily petite planner, switch over to the daily life planner, should I use both? How can I possibly use both? I mean, I really like how the daily is set up, but I really like the size of this this other one over here. What do I do? If you find yourself in any of that, then keep watching. Hey y'all, welcome back. As I said in this video, we're going to take a look at both the Daily Life Planner and the Daily Petite Planner. We're going to do a small amount of comparing. I'm going to share with you a decorated page in each and I'm hoping y'all that this information will help you just a little bit to come closer to a decision of should I use one, the other, both? <laughs> what should I possibly do? I'm also going to share with you what I'm doing at the end and uh, maybe that can help you to make your decision. Let's start with the size of these planners. The life planner is seven by nine while the petite planner over here is seven is it's 5.7 by 8.25. We both have both a day on a page, excepting for the weekends on both planners. Monday through Friday has a day, Saturday and Sunday has um, one day. If you go over to the life planner, you will know that you have 15 hours here on the day. If you go over to the Daily Petite Planner, you have 21 hours, possibly, because there's no hours, but 21 hours, not including the headers that are on the planner page, okay? On the Daily Life Planner, if you count the half an hour slots, you will have 30 hours possible. The size of the lines between the daily life planner and the daily petite planner is not that big of a difference. The, um, let me bring it a little bit closer. Hopefully you can see that, but the lines are not that different in width. And so you won't be losing anything by going to the daily uh, petite planner or going to the Daily Life Planner. I think they're both wonderful options. They're actually two of my absolute favorite things um, to use. I'll, I'll give you, give us something away. This is my number one pick. This is my, this is my baby right here. If you know me, you know this is my baby right here. They both have the monthly calendar on the page. Um, this Daily Petite has it every couple days there you go while the daily petite planner i'm sorry the daily life planner has it every single day okay with the exception of saturday and sunday you only have it one time over there for the purpose of this video y'all i'm not this is not an in-depth flip through i will link my flip through video for you at the end 
um, of this video. You can get more details on this daily duo in that video. Um, I will also link another video with my perfect petite planner lineup. And you can go over and see what I've done with the actual petite that I'm using. This is not the one I'm using right now, only because I Franken planned the one I'm using. And so I bought a backup just in case my Franken planning didn't turn out right. Then I have something else to use. <laughs> you know how we do. Let's get back to the pages. We have a to-do list section on the right side of each planner. You do not have the word to do here, but we do have the word to do on the daily life planner. So the sections have really just kind of switched a little where we have the calendar in the bottom right here and then we have the calendar in the top right here. So we still have three sections, one, two, three, and one long section here. Very similar makeup, y'all. Very similar. So if you, it's my thought and opinion that if you like the Daily Petite Planner, you are going to have so much fun in this Daily Duo Daily Planner. You're going to have a lot of fun in this one. The only thing, which is a con, right, that might prevent you from doing that is not being able to see more of the pages all together this just seems a little bit more mm, I can see it all together whereas here I feel like I need to flip it in on itself like this also it depends on um, whether or not you're okay with coil bound um, if you're okay with coil bound <laughs> this is going to be so much fun for you and I'll share you that when you see the decorated pages the to-do list here has um, 13 lines while the to-do list here has 11. Of course, the size, it will need to be a little bit smaller um, or less. So that's the technical technicalities on this. You can choose to use this as an hourly if you want to. Other than that, you do not have to. You can just make it a long to-do list. You can choose to do this as a long to-do list or make this an hourly if you choose to. We all know in this planner community that you can use stickers to make something anything that you'd like it to be. And so there are some stickers and washi that you can use to add your um, hours to it. This is the Erin Condren um, timed washi. And there's also one that has the circles on there. I'm not going to use this. Um, on any of them, but we do there. You do have this as an option. Okay. You do have this as an option as well as stickers from different sticker shops. I'm going to now share with you what the pages would look like decorated because and written in because one of the drawbacks sometime can be well i need to see how someone would decorate that or how i can make that look like that i mean i need to be able, i like that so i want that over here <laughs> how can i make it more productive i don't need the time so how can i not have the times there i mean what can i do with this so i'm going to share with you now and i'm going to go over a spread that i have redated Yes, I have redated this planner because I'm using this planner right now. So let me share this with you. And I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Look at that, y'all. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Isn't that delicious? That's just delicious. We're going to have a good time. And so here you have two spreads that I've done already um, in the interest of time to share with you what you can do. For those who don't like how the date is, you can by all means cover up how the day of the week is. It looked like this before. And so instead of covering the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I just covered the day, the date, and use stickers to redate the planner. I find that to be the easiest. You can use any stickers that you want to do. I've covered up the calendar 
and made this a nice section. My intent is to use this as my top three items that if I don't get anything else excepting those three done for the day, then my day would be woo, fulfilled. I'd be fulfilled getting those done for the day. I have listed out, you know, kind of the flow of how I would like the day to do late day to go. And I've even have space left over for gratitude and lots of things, space left for the list. This is just washi. I used to put cut the time and I use some of these circle stickers um, because I remember I really kind of sort of almost don't care about the time. It's just um, I know what time it is. I don't have to see it. I already know because look, we're seeing one o'clock. So we know this is two. Then there's three o'clock. We already know this. So that's how my brain work. I don't have to see it. Mm, we already know what time it is. So I can really cover that up. I then took this information and put it right over here into the daily petite planner. So you can see how it would look. Definitely a little bit more cluttered. However, I love it because this is how my stuff usually looks sometimes. And <laughs> that's how it usually looks. So I'm okay with both of the way these turned out. I've got all the information that's on this page is over here with the exception of the daily gratitude. I usually use a, you know, one full box sticker, not a double box sticker over in this section. And I would have spots or space here for a little gratitude blurb for the day. Um, if I don't have any space here, I, pu I put it in here. I get it anywhere I can get it in on my planner. So if I didn't even have this box, but I had this space left over, I would also write my gratitude in that space. Um, so this is how you can use your stickers. Decor decorating the planner is important for some of us who that's what keeps us coming back to it and using it every single day. So yes, it's an important part um, of deciding, can I, can I use the planner functionally and can I make it pretty while still keeping the functionality of the planner that so that I can be excited about my productive day, right? So let me know if you understand exactly what I'm saying in the comment section down below. I hope that seeing how you can transform the page um, has helped you. I really hope that it has. Let me see, I think there was one other thing that I did with a one strip of washi in here, but it might not be in this hold on I'm coming out one strip of washi I think I did it here right so if you just want to use this as a running to-do list um and not even as a dated calendar at all or a dated planner it's you can do that no problem you can just cover your time periods you can even cover the time period and do some more decorating I do look forward to doing some other spreads in this planner for you between now and July. So stay tuned for some of those. But for the meantime, y'all, I really, really am enjoying how this is um, turning out. I will link for you the video at the end as well in which I um, Franken planned this. I took I took them apart because I wanted to use it now, 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 and I've already started using it. Um, and so I will put that video at the end of this one. I'll also put the video for you where I show you my petite and how I'm using my petite. Together, I will share with you how I'm using these two together in my lineup. This is going to be my ideal day schedule, okay? So when I look at my day the night before, I'm going to say to myself, if, if everything goes well, if everything goes right tomorrow, what would I want my day to look like? And I'm going to put that down on paper. I'm also going to put, if I have time 
these are going to be the important items that need to fit in the day from my to-do list. My running to-do list, brain dump, that one. This is going to be what is most important for me to get done. So these are top. I'm also gonna put, if I got none of this stuff done today, excepting three items, what is gonna be those three items? So if that's all I do, then I will consider the day to have been a complete success. What are those three items? And I'm gonna put those right here. I'm also gonna use probably the space here for the weather or something like that. This box could even be the weather right here and then my top three go here. I've got even a space for gratitude as well on the page. If you don't have a lot of items, you can put your workout, your menu, something like that in this, in the rest of the spots right here. And so I think you have a lot that you can plan out. If everything goes well, this is what my day would look like. I, and I would love it if it looked like that. That's how I'll be using this daily planner. My daily petite now is going to be reality. <laughs> this is the ideal. This is the reality. When I get up in the morning um, or the night before, I'm already going to write what are the first three things or the things in this section that I need to do in the morning. I, of course, know that I've got to be on the morning tea. Yes, let's do this praise and worship in our lesson study. Let's, um, you know, this, this first two things, okay, what do I need to do in the morning? Uh, and that's very important for me because I need to have a goal to start out with in the morning or else I go astray. Mm, plain and simple, my whole day goes down in the dumps. And so that's how I'm gonna be using this is, what's the first thing that I need to do? As I complete and check those items off, I'm adding one more and I'm completing it, checking it off, going back over here and adding another. The reason why I'm not putting everything over here is because number one, this is what this is for. And number two, I need to stay focused. If I have seven things on my list here, I'm gonna pick the one that I feel happiest doing. I'm gonna pick the one that's the easiest thing to do and I'm going to avoid doing the film, edit, and upload that I need to do. I don't feel like it. The cooking of the dinner, I don't feel like it because it's not in the crock pot and I have to manually cook it. So all of those things, I'm going to bypass all of that and we're just going to go straight to nap time. <laughs> Let me know if you understand what I mean in the comment section. So I have, there's an order that I would like it to be in and then I will try my very best to put it in that order and get those things done for the day. Does things come up? Yes, all the time, you know, but at least I'm trying to focus one at a time and get it done. This is how I'm gonna be using these two, which is the daily life planner and my daily petite planner together in my system. Now, this is not the complete system, I will be coming out with another video sharing with you what my complete system is and how they just flow from one to the other to the other. And I really, really think that um, as I'm growing, I'm learning what works best for me and my brain. And I'm just very thankful that I'm finding products that support that. Stay tuned for my lineup video and you will be able to see all the products that I'm using every single month. I will do one for you because the month is gonna depict some of the items that I use as well. So you're gonna be able to see um, the lineup and how it's working for me. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comment box down below. I hope this has helped you a little to decide whether you want to stay inside of your petite planner because y'all, if it's working, if it's not broken, don't try to fix it. <laughs> don't try to fix it. You might confuse yourself, but if you feel like you need a little bit more focus and this way that I'm using mine might give you a little bit more focus, get to it, get to it. You make sure that you are finding a system that works for you to help you be your best self. That's it. And try not to make it a, I just want it. <laughs> Even though, whoo, it's hard out here. But also make sure that it makes sense for your 
system for your life, for your budget, make sure that it makes sense for all of that. Don't forget to watch the videos at the end of this video and I will talk to you all on the next video. Bye-bye, <laughs> everybody. See you online on lunch day.